Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. I shouldn't even have to tell you guys what day it is. Can you guys guess? It's Tuesday. 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 It is Tuesday, February 22nd. Guys, guess what time it is? Guess. It is 2.22. Now, I may or may have not planned that. But look at it. I, I just had to show you guys. This is so, so beautiful. Come on. There we go. That's my screen protector. My phone's not actually cracked. Just a screen protector. It's 2.22 and it's Tuesday, February 22nd. Oh, it just changed. But look, at least I got it for you guys, right? That's so cool, isn't it? Tuesday, February 22nd, 2.22. PM, by the way. It's not AM. It's not the morning. <laughs> so let's get you guys focused. The ring light keeps washing out Sweet Pea. I have no clue why. He's actually a little darker than what he's showing up. Okay, that still looks like, hold on. I still have to have like some sort of light because if I don't, the quality is going to be really bad for you all. But I have Sweet Pea on the left who is for sale if anyone's interested. And I have Javen on the right. And we're going to read a book. We're going to have story time. I guess this can, well, I don't ever post my videos on the same exact day so i would say it could be um i know um renee's reborn she does like tyler tuesday and so sometimes she does like story tyler tuesday i don't know what it is for today but yeah and i know a lot of other people do tyler tuesday but this is not gonna be posted on tuesday but hi <laughs> i have to show you guys javen's hair that i did for valentine's day because i did not show you guys it so of course, if you're following my Instagram, you saw his hair. And if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me, Maya underscore Reborn, and go like my photos. Here's his hair. I'm blocking it. Come on. Oh, uh, it's so messy. Go look on Instagram so you guys can get a better pic. But I did little hearts. Those are supposed to be hearts. They were hearts until, you know, he's been laying down on his hair. And then here is Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea is nice and weighted. He's so heavy now. And so he's just chilling with his big cousin, Javen. And we're going to read a book. Oh, also, look at these shoes I got for Javen. These are the ones I was talking about in my other video. I don't remember what the video I said it in, but it's probably the one where I was changing him, actually. They ended up coming. These are Reeboks. They're Reebok. And they're white with red. They're so cute. And then this was his outfit for Valentine's Day. Because he had yeah, got some new clothes. Look like at these jeans. He's so cute. And he has some more clothes in the back right here. And then that's my thing for the new wave. <laughs> but yeah, there's Javen. I wish his hair would show up. But they were hearts. And then here's Sweet Pea. And like I said, we're going to be reading a story. So cute. I know, I know you guys aren't focused. I'm going to get you guys back on tripod and we're going to start reading. Come out a little bit. Sorry if they're washed out, guys. I don't know. So, guess what we're going to be reading today? I forgot I had this book. I got it from the Goodwill when I did the outing with Eileen. If you guys haven't watched that, go ahead and watch it. It's back in September of 2021. But we're going to be reading Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day by Duda Viorst. Illustrated by Ray Cruz. I read this book when I was a child. We always had um, scholastic books everywhere. And I got it for literally 99 cents. All the books were about like 99 cents. I think the most was like maybe 3 dollars for a book. But um, yeah. We're going to be reading this book. It says, Alexander wakes up with gum in his hair. His best friend is mean to him. He has to eat lima beans for dinner and there's kissing on TV. For Alexander, it's a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. You guys know we all have been there. We feel like our days have been terrible and horrible. But let's see how Alexander faces all the obstacles in his day. So I think I'm going to read it to you guys. It then show, um... And then show Sweet Pea and Javen like the pictures. I think that might be better just how I'm sitting at the angle. You guys get like a little better view. But um, 
Yeah, okay. Let's get started on reading. Oh, let's see if I can even see that from where I'm sitting at. All right. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on a skateboard and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. In the carpool, Miss Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Miss Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I mean, Alexander, you didn't draw anything. <laughs> I could see from the other stuff why your day was going to be bad. But Okay, I'm sorry guys, that, that was actually really funny. Okay, back to reading, I'm sorry. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Funny thing is, um, my favorite number is 16 because my birthday's on the 16th. So Alexander, we need 16, okay? <laughs> I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. Aww. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. Oh, good comeback. <laughs> Okay. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week, and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. Oh, with your friend's ice cream phone? <laughs> On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy, and then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby, and... While I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody. No one even answered.
So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as could be except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner and I hate limas. There was kissing on TV and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. even in Australia. The end. I hope I did a good job showing you guys the pictures. I was trying to make sure that it was in frame also while being focused because you guys know how my camera is. But that was it for Alexandra the Terrible Horrible No Good Very Bad Day. What have we learned from that book? Javen, go. Sweet Pea, go. Maya, go. Okay, so what we learned from the book is some days are just always going to be terrible, horrible, no good. Sometimes you're gonna have a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. But you just have to make the most out of it and you still have to be positive because no matter where you are, it's just gonna be like that. And you're not the only one like that. You know, everybody has terrible, horrible, no good, very bad days. So just you just have to think, I'm not the only one. Positive vibes, I got this. I can keep going. I'm strong. Having that mindset make your day a whole lot better. If only Alexander had a little positivity, his day could have gone a lot better. But guys, I apologize for laughing because <laughs> he said the teacher liked it. The other boys painting or drawing better than his. He drew an invisible castle. Alexander, your paper's blank. You didn't draw anything. I don't know. I just thought that was really funny. But um, I think the boys enjoyed the story a lot. This was a very, very, very good book. And I remember reading it um, in elementary school. And I remember my teacher saying, you know, you just have to be positive. You know, have to make the most out of your day. And so whenever I felt that I was going to have a bad day, like something happened bad in the morning... I didn't let it affect my whole day, you know, kept smiling, tried to be positive. I didn't take it a few hours with me. I just said, okay, that happened. We can move on. And then my day got pretty better. So, yeah, but that's the book. I like that it was in black and white. You don't see a lot of those anymore. Look how well it's illustrated. It looks like it was uh, drawn with a pencil, which is really cool. Like, I like how it's sketched or illustrated. Some more pictures just in case I didn't get a chance to show you guys. We're going to end this video shortly here. I don't want it to be too long. We're just reading, you know. But I feel like this book was really long. <laughs> he didn't have a dessert. <laughs> That's not funny that he didn't have a dessert. But this right here, this was very upsetting. When Paul said he didn't want to be his best friend. 
Well, maybe it's because of the whole picture thing. I don't know. Then he didn't get a chance to get a seat by the window. He had to sit in the middle. He was smushed. I know how it feels to have to sit in the middle because they're always like, oh, you're the smallest one, so sit in the middle. And then even though I'm small, I'm still smushed. And so I don't like it either. All right. That is pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our story time for today on this very special day and date, Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. I had to do a video. I was going to do this video yesterday, but then I, I honestly forgot. And then so I just did it right now. And then it just happened to be around 2 o'clock when I decided to do it. And so I waited for 2.22. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. We're going to wrap this video and end it. I am on Instagram at my underscore reborn. If you guys want to give me a follow over there. I am on reborns.com under Melanated Babies where I have babies listed for sale. And I do have a membership if anyone wants to join. Everything that I stated is linked directly in this description below. Oh, right now there is an emoji on the screen. Basically what that does is you comment that emoji down below and it lets me know that you watched all the way until here, which is pretty much the end. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything in the comments, including video requests. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. And I will talk to you guys later. You guys have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.